Welcome. My name is Meekert Fletcher. I'm the author of Discover Mindful Eating for Kids. And in this video, we're going to talk about change, specifically challenging children in a fun way to change food and eating behaviors. To do this, I've asked some of my friends to come join me. My first friend is Frog, and he's right over here. And my second friend is Bear. And Bear is right over here. You can see right over this way, Frog and Bear um, also have some one of their other couple of their other friends with us. You can grab any animal, any stuffed animal you want to do this activity, which we called Frog and Bear. In this specific activity, we're talking about challenge and challenging kids to change. The ideas for these activities are based on the work by Dr. B.J. Fogg, who has the behavioral grid. And if you're interested in Dr. Fogg's work, you can certainly Google him, F-O-G-G. In this episode of Frog and Bear, let's get right into the change story. So the key thing to understand Dr. Fogg's work talks about change, and he states that in change, we can change one time, which would be a dot. We can change for a series or for a span of time, so a segment, maybe a week or a month or a day, and that would be a span, or we can change kind of long-term going forward or a path. So in a challenge, uh, a lot of times what we do is when we challenge kids to change, we're asking them to try one new food. That would be the dot. We may set up the challenge for a week long. That would be the span. And we may turn around and say, well, part of our family, our institution, is to always have new foods part of our life, and that would be the path. Okay, so we can see that. So in this activity, what we'd like to do is have you review with the kids that there's lots of ways to change. They can change once and try one new food. They can try new foods for a period of time, or they can understand that this institution or this family will always introduce new foods, and that's part of who we are. Okay, so that's the path. Um, and in that process, we also want to talk to kids about trying a new food and always giving them the opportunity to say, no, thank you. So we try the food, but we recognize that not everyone's going to like foods that you like. I can tell you right now, there are people out there that um, really enjoy the texture of mushrooms. For me, not so much. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with me that I don't enjoy the texture of mushrooms. Um, it just means that that's a preference and every kid is gonna have preferences. We're trying to help children understand that preferences change and they develop over time and we don't wanna react to them. So that's kind of that mindful eating piece. So one of the things that we talk about is, is that when we do a challenge, we may want to set up um, some expectations. So you try it once, one time. You might say, okay, you tried it once. Well, I'd like you to try it three more times. So we're going to try it three more times. You can talk to kids about um, expanding it. Well, you tried it this way, but is there other ways that you could try it? What I find is, is that if we model this out with little um, animals, like frogs and bear, um, and we present these concepts beforehand, uh, they're much more well received by the children when we actually do it out. So in this activity, what we suggest is that uh, you set up a time to start talk about your kids about change and really introduce this idea, the once, the dot, the span, or the path and that we use uh, frog and bear to maybe um, play out this process. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna do it. So, hey, it's frog. Hi, everybody. Hey, it's bear. Hi. Hey, bear. Hi, frog, what's going on? My mom says we have to try a new food today. Oh, I'm afraid. What are you afraid of, Frog? What happens if I don't like it? Well, you'd have to try it first to decide that, Frog. I don't know. I'm really nervous about white food. Really? White things don't make me nervous. 
Oh, white things make me very nervous. What if she serves cauliflower? What's cauliflower? It's a vegetable bear. Well, if you eat it and you don't like it, couldn't you just say, I don't like it? What if she makes me eat it again? Well, if she cooks it differently, Frog, you might like it if it was cooked different. What happens if I don't like it, Bear? Oh! Frog, you get to have the experience of trying a new food. New things can be fun. Like, like think of all the things that you've tried that were new, that were really a good time. Like what, Bear? Like sledding. Bear, sledding wasn't fun for a frog. Okay, how about swimming? Well, yeah, actually, swimming was a pretty good time. I really like the jumping in part. Sea frog, not all new things are bad. Mm, I'm still scared. Mm, it can be scary. But then we have the experience and it's all set. It's not new anymore. And we can try things different ways. <sighs> Frog, if you don't like it, you can just say you don't like it. All right. Thanks, Bear. Bye, Frog. Bye, Bear. And that's just one example of a frog and bear story where you can introduce this idea of trying new foods. And if the food is enjoyable, we could verbalize that. Or if the food is new and scary, we could also verbalize that as well. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I hope you'll check out some of our other videos about frog and bear.